Now, when it comes to improving water quality in the Chesapeake Bay, experts say oysters are part of the solution. There's a large restoration effort underway in one of Norfolk's waterways to increase the oyster population in hopes of decreasing bacteria levels. Penny your side's Joe Fisher spent some time on the water to better understand how this process is improving quality of life. Joe? Well, Tom, that process uses, uses recycled oyster shells, that shell left behind when you eat oysters at home or at a restaurant. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation is cleaning them, harvesting baby oysters inside them, and dumping them right back into the water. In the case of Norfolk's Lafayette River, their efforts are working. We're trying to um, increase the population of oysters. They're About 400,000 oysters packed into buckets and loaded up on a boat in Norfolk's Lafayette River. They filter the water. Um, a single adult oyster can filter water in the summer months up to 50 gallons of water a day. You're looking at the end of a pretty long process. Staff and volunteers at the Chesapeake Bay Foundation start by collecting shells, mostly from restaurants. They clean them and then use them to harvest baby oysters. These are tiny baby oysters. They're even smaller than my fingernail, but there's three there. It's at this stage when the shells are dumped into the river. The foundation has helped to build more than 70 acres of oyster reefs. The reefs provide a place for the oysters to grow and also provide a home for fish, crabs, and other organisms. The shell does millions and millions times better going back into the water versus sitting on a landfill doing nothing. Since 2010, more than 60 million oysters have been dumped back into the bay. The goal to improve water quality for those who live near the water and those who use it for recreation. Everybody wants clean water. I don't think anybody's going to say that they don't. And we all benefit from having a healthy, thriving Chesapeake Bay. Jackie Shannon says the Lafayette River is a success story. This holistic approach that we've gone about has ultimately led to the Lafayette River being delisted for bacteria levels, which is a, a huge um, piece of evidence that this work has been meaningful, that water quality is improving. Now the foundation wants to replicate their success into other tributaries nearby. And you can get involved in the foundation shell recycling program. They say they're always looking for used shells. And right now they have programs set up in communities from Gloucester to Newport News and Chesapeake. For more information, go to wavy.com. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.